Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover virtual machine files from Unraid OS NAS storage system. Unraid is a built-in operating system developed to provide full control of your equipment. It doesn't only operate as a reliable network attached storage, but it can also work as an application server and virtual machine host. Unraid is installed and boots from a USB pen drive and then is put into the RAM file system. The main point of Einraid OS is that it is a hardware-independent solution capable of turning any 64-bit system into a network-attached storage, which is NAS for short. What is more, this operating system is designed to work as a virtualization host. It uses a hypervisor to divide resources between virtual clients in a safe and isolated way so that users can run several operating systems and apps on a single physical server and optimize the use of its resources. Virtualization in Unraid is based on KVM, which includes modern versions of QEMU, libvirt, vfio, vertio, and vertfs. It also supports open virtual machine firmware OVMF, which provides UEFI support for virtual machines by adding support for secure boot and simplified support for paths from the feature on graphic processors. This lets users assign a wide range of resources to such virtual machines. Also, such virtualization technologies do not let any negative effects from their use influence the reliability of the main operating system. In today's video, we will explore the functionality available for creating a virtual machine on this operating system and how virtual disk files can be recovered when you lose access to the server. In order to create a virtual machine on Unraid OS, you will need an image of the operating system which should be installed on such virtual machine. Download an ISO image and upload it to the Unraid server. Then open Web Manager VMS, which stands for Virtual Machines. Here, click on Add VM button and specify the operating system version. The settings page will open. Give this machine a name, select CPU settings, the system memory size, choose the ISO image and give the path to the image file which you have uploaded to the Unraid server. Now choose the virtual disk size. In my case, 30 GB will be enough. And it's time. After that, give the path to the directory where virtual machine files should be stored. Change network settings, the bridge mode and the adapter model. After you have finished with the settings, click Create. If you haven't unchecked the box for virtual machine automatic start, the machine will start booting immediately. This is followed by a typical process of installing the operating system. We won't cover this part in detail, but if necessary, you can visit our channel to find a dedicated video about installing a Windows operating system. After the operating system is installed, the virtual machine is ready for work. In some situations, you may have to recover virtual machine files from the NAS storage with Unraid operating system. For example, it may happen when you accidentally delete certain files or a folder containing virtual disks after an operating system error or NAS failure, which results in losing access to your virtual machine. A specialized data recovery tool, Hetman Raid Recovery, will help you restore all virtual machine files. This tool supports all popular file systems and can recover files used by various hypervisor types. For recovery, take the disks out of the storage system and connect them to a Windows computer. Download, install, and start the program. Hetman Raid Recovery will automatically scan the disks and display them in the main window. To start searching for files, right-click on a disk and choose Open. After that, select the scan type – Fast Scan or Full Analysis. For status, we recommend a fast scan. This will take less time and you can find lost files easily in most typical recovery scenarios. If the program can't find the missing files after the fast scan, then go for Full Analysis. To do it, go back to the main window, right-click on the disk and choose Analyze again, Full Analysis, specify the file system and click Next. After that, open the folder where virtual machine files used to be stored. If you don't know the exact path, you can see it in the Virtual Machine Manager settings by opening the Unraid OS Web Manager.
open the corresponding directory, select the files to restore and hit Recovery. Specify where to save the data, choose the disk and folder and click Recover again. When the process is over, you will find the virtual machine files in the folder you have chosen for saving them. Besides recovering virtual disk files, uh, you can also recover data inside the virtual machine by mounting an image into the program and recovering files from such virtual disk image. In the Programs window, open the Tools tab, Mount Disk, select your virtual disk type and click Next. After that, specify the folder where the virtual disk image is stored, click OK. Select the image file, Next, and it will appear in the Programs window. Then start the scan by clicking Open. Choose the scan type and when it's over, open the folder where the lost file used to be. And recover them. Summing up, we can say that even though loss of data can make you worry and cause certain difficulties, now you know, there are methods and tools to help you recover the precious data. With Hetman RAID Recovery, you'll be able to recover the lost files of your virtual machine disks from Unraid OS. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful and it helped you to recover the lost files. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!